Rumor, rumor on the web, what has the biggest hype train yet? The iPhone 8 is about 7 months away and though everything I say right now might change by the time the phone is actually released, these are the top 8 things you need to know about the iPhone 8. This is Danish and you're watching This All Tech, so let's get started. The biggest change that Apple might make to the iPhone 8 is the addition of an OLED panel. The screen resolution is rumored to be about 2K and this is a huge departure from the LCD 720 and 1080p screens you see on the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. Now don't get me wrong here, the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus have really good displays and their color accuracy is one of the best in the market. But if you have picked up any of Samsung's flagship devices from the last 2 or 3 years, you know that once you go OLED, you can't go back. Many people are saying that 2017 might be the year of bezel displays and Apple too will be implementing a bezel-less design. You might have seen concept images online where there is a single bezel up on top. But the more practical version of this that I think Apple will follow is having two individual bezels, one at the top and one at the bottom, but significantly lower in size. The home button will be replaced by an on-screen software button and rumors are also saying that Apple might use something like Synaptic's fingerprint scanner placed below the OLED display. The screen was initially rumored to be curved, but it seems that Apple might now actually be going with a flat design to prevent screen cracking from falls. The iPhone 8, like the iPhone 4, will now have a glass back panel, and though there will be an aluminum frame covering the entire body, the front and the back now will be glass. Apple also acquired an Israeli facial recognition based company and they might be actually implementing facial recognition unlocking on the next iPhone. Facial recognition has been there for a while in other devices but this will be the first time it will come to an Apple device. How good this facial recognition is from what's available in the market is yet to be seen. The iPhone 8 also might come with wireless charging. Not the type that you see in Samsung's S series where there is a pad and you just place the device on it but true wireless charging or charging from a distance. There might be a sort of base station type device that will be connected directly to a power outlet and this will radiate energy for up to 10 meters. So if the phone is within the sphere of influence of the device, it will begin charging and obviously the closer you get, the faster it charges up. Now this is not a new concept and there's actually a device that does this and it's on Kickstarter right now and links for that are down in the description. Apple also recently joined the Qi wireless group and this gives a huge hint that we sooner or later are going to see wireless charging in iPhones. The iPhone 8's base model will start at 64 gigs and you can expect to see 128 gigs and 256 gigs. Because of live photos, I think this is a very good move on Apple's part because even 32 gigs might be a little too less. There are also rumors that along with the iPhone 8, the iPhone 7s and 7s Plus will also be released. The iPhone 8 will come at 5.8 inches, the iPhone 7s Plus will come at 5.5 inches and the iPhone 7s will come at 4.7 inches. So all three of these phones will go together on sale. And it's a good thing also because the iPhone 8 is also rumored to cost over a thousand dollars and this might be for the base model of the device and would you be willing to spend so much on a phone? I know I've started saving for the phone because well my note is no more but are you ready to pay that much of an Apple tax? Comment down below. For more content like this, don't forget to subscribe and you can follow me on social media over here and you can click this button over here to subscribe. Until next time, this is Dana signing off. Bye-bye.